This particular piece of property is in the U.S. It's about 20,000 acres, very hard, hard desert country. When I was a young man uh, in the late uh, uh, 60s, early 70s, there was a good deer population down in this part of the world. Since the 1990s, there has almost been extinct in this area. The mule deer have been. Not to mention all of the all of the wildlife that was uh, secondary to that in, in, our, in our importance, of course, at the time. Now there was just very wildlife populations were very very low when we acquired this land. It had been overused. The waters had been neglected. Uh, there had been no management for many many years. So we had a we had a big we had a big project in front of us. We began to outreach to. Uh, Dallas Safari Club, different folks in this organization because we recognized that immediately that these were the, the true conservationists that uh, fit our pattern of way that we, that we thought. It was a no-brainer to say, well, we need water. And since we had had some experience with wildlife gullers, we began to look for funding for these gullers. And, and that's how we did that. And we, we uh, began to uh, develop friendships and associates and partnerships with different organizations and different individuals. When I drive over here to the Big Bend and I see these mountains in this Chihuahuan Desert, it's an ecosystem that I love. The reason that people keep coming back is they, they feel a connection to this land because they toiled here they, they took a ground that will support wildlife and previously did support wildlife, and they've turned it into a wildlife camelot, basically. For a desert mule deer or a desert bighorn sheep, this is, this is like Baskin Robbins to one of them. Only thing missing from this ground is water. And it's nice to see all the generations of people who have volunteered to do this. It's just awesome to do this kind of work here in Texas, in this Chihuahuan ecosystem. And this is landscape scale conservation. This is not a dot on a map. It, it may be that we need 20 more here and we may need 50 more in the Black Gap, but we're gonna keep doing it until we've got it all covered. At this point in time uh, that, that, we're, that we're talking right now, we have 18 of these water devices around that uh, and we've seen our wildlife population steadily climb it's on the, it's on the uh, up climb we're very happy about that and it's due to the water things have changed now we have budgets but we still have these partnerships and they're they're more valuable now than they used to be back in the, back in the days when we didn't have nothing if you can make wildlife bloom on this place you can make wildlife come anywhere and we've done it through partnerships and that can sometimes be financial help or sometimes it, it's just uh, the personal help and personal dedication of volunteers and also the wonderful donations, whether they're large or small, that we've got from organizations such as uh, Dallas Safari Club. <laughs>